Hey guys, this is Becca and this is video 8 of 2018. So I finished the 250 box challenge. Uh, it took me a really long time. Uh, I think it took me about two and a half weeks. You could definitely do it faster than that, but as you guys know, I am just going real slow at my own pace learning these things. Um, I'm on like the 50 year plan, so I'm not in a hurry to get through this stuff. But if you wanted to, I'm sure you could get through it much faster than I did. So I wasn't really sure what to expect when I started this challenge because it's really different than anything I had tried before and I wasn't really sure um, kind of like what sort of results you might be able to get from something like this. So I'm going to share what I thought was really great about it and um, something that I thought was a little bit disappointing about it. So I'll start with the disappointing thing because then we get to end on a good note. So the, the thing that I found most disappointing was that uh, basically after box 100, I feel like my accuracy didn't improve very much. Uh, and that might be because actually the first 100, I did see a lot of improvement. And then after that, I think I plateaued a bit. So that was a little disappointing because I was like, oh my gosh, I drew all these boxes and I don't really see visually, um, like I guess a more accurate uh, estimate of where the vanishing points would be. That being said, when I look at it kind of on the whole and I see the big picture, I think this is, no, this is definitely the first thing I've done that has actually kind of made a profound change in how I understand perspective and basically my spatial understanding of shapes. Uh, and that's a big deal because I have tried a lot of things and kind of got nowhere. So while it might not have been uh, great for precision, I think just my general understanding of how shapes work and how things, uh, I guess how I, my intuition as to how things look in space has improved. So. The frustrating thing about this for some people, at least for me, is that, I don't know about you guys, but it makes me absolutely crazy when I don't understand why things work, like how they work, you know, the structural, the gears inside of why things work. So I can draw a box and I can say, this line needs to be at this angle and it needs to be shorter than this line and it needs to intersect this line, but I don't, I can't explain it to you. I don't really understand on the large scheme, like why, uh, things are the way they are with these shapes. Um, and that like really irks me. That being said, uh, I think that this kind of, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm a little bit obsessive. This obsessive tendency to want to know how things work actually was sort of blocking me from learning things. So when I was, you know, watching all these videos and getting really into the weeds in these books, um, I was spending all this time like kind of building my knowledge, but I still couldn't draw a box. I couldn't draw a cube, but I had read, you know, 15 chapters of this book and gotten like so far down the perspective rabbit hole that, you know, I like stopped doing the things I loved, stopped calling my family. And I was just like one of those perspective people. No, I'm just kidding. But, but honestly, sort of, you could like really, really get into this, I think. Um, so for me, it just made more sense that if that wasn't working, I needed to do it a little bit differently. And I think that this was a really helpful approach for me just to kind of like get moving or actually sort of get something in my head that I could use because all that stuff that I was doing on paper, it was just conceptual. Like I couldn't actually use it for some reason. So this is like, in my opinion, a really practical approach to kind of like just getting your foot in the door and kind of getting a general understanding of how things work in space. Will you be an expert after this? Definitely not. Am I? Not even close. Um, but I think this is like just a great place to start, especially if you are kind of like wary of, of textbook learning. I think this is just an awesome way to just like get going, you know, put your feet on the ground, get moving on it. So yeah, highly suggested. If you want to do the 250 box challenge, you totally should. Uh, I think it helped me a lot and I'm really excited to kind of move on to the next thing and see what else I can learn in this way. Uh, so if you have any questions about it or feedback or anything, you can write in the comments and I'll get back to you. So on to the drawings.